Well, right now, senators and Nebraskans are still arguing in the state capitol over a record list of proposed rule changes. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. The public hearing for the 57 legislative rules began almost five hours ago. And some senators are concerned the debate on it could take days. Okay, TV News Watch 7's Alex McClune reports from Lincoln with tonight's big story. This hearing could take hours, and at one point, a state senator joked they could be in this room until 3 a.m. as Nebraskans testify on a number of rule changes like open ballots, the sanctity of the legislature, and concealed carry. But as you can see, there's still a long ways to go. I'm not taking away anyone's rights um, to bear arms. And there are a lot of ways in our culture that we look at this topic. Two sides of the Second Amendment are sharing their sides to the legislature's rules committee. Omaha State Senator Michaela Cavanaugh's proposal only allows military members and law enforcement to carry firearms inside the chamber. Nebraskans for Founders Values says rules don't apply to those who break the law. And what happens is you have all these people who are at the at the hands of somebody who's not going to follow the rules. You can't bring it to testify in court and you can't bring it. You shouldn't be able to bring it to testify in a committee hearing and you certainly shouldn't be able to bring it into the gallery above the legislative chamber. Another proposed rule change comes from committee chair Steve Erdman, who wants to close executive sessions to everybody, including the media. Media of Nebraska President Roseanne Shannon says it roadblocks reporters, a conduit to the public. But it's also the job of the state senators because they are tasked with providing information to their constituents. So we, we share a joint responsibility there. These are just two arguments from Nebraskans and lawmakers. Senators on the Rules Committee decide which make it to the body and expect to debate other rules for days. Citizens have a very active role. Uh, especially when you have a unicameral. Nebraska GOP's political director supports open ballots which hold voting Republicans to their party lines. Votes on the record are really important so people can evaluate uh, where their senator stands. You can see we are still on this part of the agenda. It looks like they started at 444. We just talked to Senator Michaela Cavanaugh, and she says they haven't even made it to that concealed carry proposed rule change yet. So, Rob, Julia, it could be a long night for state senators. Live at the legislature, Alex McClune, KETV News Watch 7. All right, Alex, thanks. We'll keep following it. Also in the unicameral today, another senator adds to the abortion debate. Sarpy County lawmaker Jen Day filed a pregnancy protections bill. She says it would clarify that women will not be investigated after miscarriages and other medical emergencies that affect the pregnancy outcome. Now, this follows the announcement by State Senator Joni Albright, Joni Albright yesterday on her proposed abortion bills. One bans abortions after a heartbeat's detected, which is about six weeks. Nebraska currently bans abortions after 20 weeks. Albright's bill also makes exceptions for rape, incest, or if the mother's life is in danger. Her other proposal provides tax credits to donors of crisis pregnancy centers.